John Rappaport, what do you think? Hi, Alex. Okay, so this is a hoax. And yes, it's information, mind control, postponed pregnancy, depopulation by press conference, don't have babies, et cetera, et cetera. So this is going to be a medical operation against Brazil that's going to involve vaccines and all other manner of medical drugs and so forth. So, so it's a Galian dialectic. They scare them and they bring in the vaccines, the medical tyranny, martial law, right as the country's rebelling against IMF control. You bet. Brick Nation, all of that. The cover story is Zika virus is causing babies to be born with small heads and brain damage. But the revised statistics out of Brazil from their own officials now are saying they can only confirm 270 cases of these babies in a country of 200 million people. So they have a much lower statistic than us. Yeah, much lower because in the U.S. every year, 25,000 cases Whoa. Of, of this and from many different causes. And not only that, but the Brazilian health officials are saying, wait a minute, we can only find the Zika virus, which is supposed to be causing this condition in babies, in only six babies so far. So all of a sudden, they're revamping the whole hysteria, and they are going to get attacked like crazy because the... Well, you continue to be on target then. Explain to us then what you think's behind this hysterical fear-mongering. Because, I mean, let me tell you something. I, I, you've always been right, but so has somebody like Boyle, who wrote the U.S. Biological Weapons Treaty. He's saying... It, that that it's been weaponized and that it's been manipulated and to you know to reduce fertility but you're saying hey it's not as bad as they're saying so how do i take him who i really have learned to respect and you who i respect and then integrate those two worldviews well i would say he's right in the sense of you know you can put any virus in a lab and try to weaponize it and maybe you can't but as far as actually saying he knows that this virus already has been weaponized I think if you went back to him, he would not go that far. He would say it could be, maybe. Well, he has high-level sources, um, and we have some of those, obviously, we can't mention. But he's talked to top bioweapons people, and they say that they say this is, this is something special. But, but I get what you're saying. We, per capita, have got way more many cases than they do caused by other things. So what's going on here? Is it a cover for something else they're doing? You know, yeah. they'll release another weapon or a chemical and then say something else did it. That's like AIDS is a simulant virus where something else, I heard this from my dad decades ago, that later came out in the news, is actually another operation. Yes, of course. I mean, the operation here is going to be the vaccine. They're going to put this vaccine into effect. It's going to be incredibly toxic. It's going to debilitate people, make them very sick, kill them. And on top of that, they are already attacking Brazil in a massive way through chemicals because Brazil is the largest user of pesticides in the world. I've seen the documentaries where whole towns are dying from whatever they're using down there. I mean, it is crazy. Absolutely. This is not a virus. This is you spread chemicals around and people die. Well, remember what Kissinger said in 1974 in April in Memorandum 200 that was declassified in the 90s. He said, we're going to authorize the use and sale of chemicals in Latin America that we wouldn't hear to kill them. Well, it's interesting you bring that up, Alex, because of the pesticides that Brazil is using, some of them are already banned in 22 other countries. Oh. Okay, so there you have it. And I've linked through studies two of these Roundup and atrazine pesticides to birth defects, smaller heads. It's all there in the literature. So there is already a massive attack on Brazil. Ah, oh, so Monsanto, so it's chemicals that we know do it. So they say it's viral. Of course, that's the easy way out because now they can come in behind that and say, therefore, we have to bring all the doctors in. We have to treat everybody. We have to give you the bug sprays that are against the mosquitoes and the bug sprays. More chemicals to counter the chemicals, uh, claiming it's a, oh yeah, yeah. Of course, that's the operation in a nutshell. So chemical, 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 until you know the country is completely decimated and it's well on the way now. And of course, as you mentioned, Brazil is one of those brick nations that is looking at the IMF, that is looking at the World Bank and saying, hey, we don't really need that. We can have our own monetary system. Oh, yeah? Well, if that's your position, you are going to be in for a world of trouble. And regardless, they're going to kill all their tourism saying don't go to Brazil because of Zika. Of course. Yeah, so it's a, stealth, it's a stealth sanction. 
Sure. And now we're going to have the Rio Olympics, right? Which is going to become a poster child for, uh, well, the Zika problem and this and the medical, medical tyranny medical responding to Zika. Zika. You know they're going to have a Zika vaccine now. You, you, you bet. They're are they already calling lot. for that? Because I'm. Oh yeah, they've got companies that are already massively working on it, rushing into clinical trials, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, of course. And then, and then the hundreds of thousands that go or millions that go to cover it and be part of it will take the Zika vaccine. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, sure. Guys, it's hard to get you on and disagree with you because when I look at the facts, you're, you're on target again, John. What else as we go to break? I want to get back for a full hour in the next few weeks. Really appreciate all the work you do. What else are you looking at right now, my friend? Well, I've been looking at this uh, uranium connection to southern Oregon where the sand off the shooting was.